Hi guys, I'm here tonight to go over the Longchamp Lip Pliage in the size small. I have mine in the color khaki with the long handles. This is the original version of this bag. Longchamp Lip Pliage comes in the original version. This one that's shown, they have the club version and they have the Neo version. And that is a whole nother video comparing all three different types of lip pliage. I'm just gonna go over what I have here as shown. It's the original version. So again, this is in the color khaki. The brown leather trimmings are as shown. And there they are on the tabs. There you go there. The handles are a nice rolled handle and they're very, very comfortable on the shoulder, I would say. So just to go over some of the dimensions of this bag, in inches, the length is 10.4, in height, it is 11 inches, and in width, it is 6.1. This is a size small. There are two size smalls that Longchamp makes. The other size small is a little bit smaller of a bag with just a shorter top handle. It would just be, uh, for a hand carry or by crook of arm, whereas this one can actually fit right over your shoulder. So whenever you are purchasing the Longchamp Lip Payage, please be aware of that. One time I ordered thinking I was going to get the long handled when a short one came and I had to return it. So just something to be cognizant of. This bag does retail on the Longchamp website for $125. They this bag is featured on many other department store websites where you can find them on sale or at a discount. I know Bloomingdale's carries them, Saks Off Fifth, Nordstrom. Um, there's a couple other websites that sell them. I know they do sell these on eBay, but you just have to kind of watch out for counterfeited ones. So anyways, so this bag does feature a zipper top closure. It also features a snap closure. So. How you get into this bag is you just undo the snap here. On the underside of the leather is a beautiful soft suede. The bag opens up and then you do have the zip. And the zipper does show Longchamp 1948. Unzips very smoothly to the interior of the bag. This bag, I would say, is more of like a purse size between the small and the large. The large is a great bag for work and travel or if you just carry a lot more on day to day. The size small is a great size that still will hold a lot, but it will hold you know, not too much stuff. So it's gonna not weigh you down. The bag's not gonna sag nearly as much as the size large. I'm going to show you the difference between my size small and I have a size large down here. And I really want to show you kind of what that's like between the two sizes. Um, so yeah, I will go ahead. I'm going to put in just a few daily essentials just to show you what this bag looks like. I'll do that here in a minute, but I wanted to show you one more time just the inside. This is a lined, very wipeable material and I would compare it to like a baby's changing pad. That would be something that I would compare this to. It's, it's wonderful because it's just cleanable. You could flip this bag inside out and throw it into a wash. Um, probably not a washing machine, but like into a sink full of water and clean it. There is a pocket right here. It's a small little slip pocket. I will put um, my clay in there to show you that a clay will fit. You can throw business cards, you can throw, you know, lip gloss and lipsticks in there too. So this bag is known for the fact that you can pack this up. It folds in on itself and it goes up and then it can snap right here with this. So this is a great bag for traveling. A lot of people really enjoy taking this in their suitcase after they've folded it up. Once they get to their destination, poof, you can unfold it, take it out take it traveling with you. The other thing that I do like about the fact that it can fold is if you have quite a few of these, you can store them easily because you can just fold them right up. 
So here is a full view of the bag. There is the snap on the back. And then here's the bottom of mine. Mine doesn't have too much wear on it. Uh, one place where you do want to be mindful of wear would be here on these corners. The corners of this bag, they come to like a sharp point. So you really have to be careful because it is common for these bags to get holes kind of worn out in the corners. I have heard, I've never done this, so don't quote me, but I have heard that you can send this bag, if you get like a hole in your bag, you can send it back to Longchamp and they'll repair it. I don't know if that's for free or of charge, but I do know that Longchamp does repairs to their bags, which is fantastic. And they do have wonderful customer service, I have heard. Okay, so just on the inside of this bag, I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly fill it up with my essentials. And I'm gonna put an iPad in. I don't normally carry an iPad on the daily, but just to show you, an iPad does definitely fit down in there very simply, very easily, with tons of room left over. And then I wanna show you here, this is a little cosmetic case by Longchamp. It is the Le Pliage cosmetic case, also in the color khaki. I'll put that down in. I have all my my junk drawers in there. So that's what's in that. I do have a checkbook cover. I've got my Rosalie coin purse. My phone. I've got my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. And here is my Louis Vuitton clay. I'm gonna pop that right here and show you that it will fit as a quick grabber. You can put that right there in that pocket. And then here is just a pair of glasses. So with everything in, there's what she looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead, zip this baby up. One of the complaints that people have with the Longchamp Le Pliage is they don't love the sagginess of this bag. So the one thing I will say about the size small, it's not sagging too much. It's kind of funky looking right now, but it doesn't sag as bad as the size large I find. And I don't even have a bag organizer in it. So here's what it looks like on. And then kind of going head to head with the size large, I don't know what that thing bulging right there, that must be an item. I'm gonna show you right down here on the floor, I've got my size large. So here's what they look like. This is the Longchamp Le Pliage in the size large. I have mine in the club version. This is my work bag. It's a very basic non-branded work bag I like to take in people's houses. So here's the small and here's the large. Here's what they look like side to side. So, quite significant difference here. The small, the shoulder drop is, much, is like an inch or two shorter than the large. I'm gonna demonstrate here, easily over the shoulder. It doesn't hit my elbow. I guess it passes that elbow test. So that would be that. I'm gonna show you if this small passes the elbow test and it doesn't. So you have to take one arm, put it over, like so. But you guys, this bag is so comfortable. I love it if, I love it for a reasoning if you're brand new to Longchamp and you wanna start off with a bag. I feel like this is a wonderful bag to begin your Longchamp collection with. Either the small or the large, just kinda of depending upon your needs. It's at a price point that is, you know, kind of entry level to luxury. It's only $125. And I want to say that the, let's see, I'm not sure what price, I believe they're around like 150 to 160 for the size larges. So anyways, I just wanted to kind of get on here and go over the Longchamp Le Pliage in the size small. It's a great bag and again, great for every day. So. If you guys have any questions or if you own this bag, comment below. 
and please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to come up with new bags to review. Um, I've got several more to do and you know I'm a bag lover just like you gals are and I just want to put out these videos just in case you are considering making a purchase and if you want to do comparisons between you know if you're trying to decide between a bag or two it's just good to kind of watch these videos so anyways thanks guys have a wonderful day take care bye bye